Uh, Nigeria recently celebrated new highs in power generation. However, according to NOI polls, average cumulative power supply rece received by Nigerian households in the past 27 months was below six hours a day. Bell Yua, CEO at NOI polls, joins me now to discuss the survey on Nigeria's power supply. Thank you so much, Bell, for coming in. So, very interesting statistics because I think everyone will have expected the number should, should be higher, but is this really a case of um, late progress as opposed to the last 27 months? Yes, indeed. Um, NY polls have been tracking um, um, power um, consumption in households for the past 30 months. We began this polling project in January 2013 and we're pulling to, to date on a monthly basis. And so far in the last 27 months, we've seen that on average, Nigerians have received basically 5.8 hours um, in power. And this obviously um, justifies why the Senate and um, other um, organizations and bodies like the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry are calling for the abolition of fixed um, charges in power. Because obviously Nigerians are not getting um, the, the, the power so far. All right. And so, uh, but are people optimistic, though? I don't know to what extent your survey captures that. What are they expecting in the future? Well, with, with the new government, they, they are expecting to see some change. You recall, we asked also if people have been seeing improvements in their power supply. And over the 30-month period, only 64% um, of Nigerians said they've seen no improvement at all. Only 36% said they've seen a bit of improvement. With, with the southwest Nigeria being the worst hit, with 68% of Nigerians in the southwest um, saying they haven't seen any improvements in power. I, I must say that this has resulted into a situation where Nigerians are spending more on alternative um, sources of, of power. But to what extent can we capture where there is more progress? Um, is it more in the south or in the north? Where, where is most of the power being um, supplied right now? Okay, we have seen some progress being made in the north central region and in the southeastern region of, of, of Nigeria. Um, and, and, and this, the north central, this is because obviously the seat of power is in Abuja, and so Abuja and the cities or the states around Abuja are having um, some, some level of power. Um, however, we, we can tell clearly that 77.5% of Nigerians are making use of alternative sources of power, which are mostly petrol um, power generator or uh, uh, what in the Nigerian parlance we call the better pass my neighbor. Um, we, we, we're finding out that <laughs> many Nigerians are making use of this um, for their power, power needs. All right. Okay. Uh, last quick question. I think it's interesting that, like you mentioned, 17% of Nigerians receive no electricity at all. That, for me, really signals an opportunity that if only, even if just half of that can get power, th the type of businesses that could could really evolve out of that. You're absolutely right. You're bang on. Uh, and the truth is 17% of Nigerians from our, our stats have received no power whatsoever. And these are Nigerians who have some level of capacity to pay and will be willing to pay. We've also asked the question in time past, would you be willing to pay more if power um, is, is supplied to you constantly? And Nigerians have said, yes, we'll be willing to pay a bit more than we are paying um, at, at, at the moment, because with what we have now, at the low end, we have um, 3.9 hours, and at the high end, so far, we have about 8.2 hours. The worst so far that I've been seen was in May 2015, just the month of the handover, with all the scarcity of, 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 of fuel uh, and the handover, you, you realize that that was the worst month ever, and the, the best we had so far in this 27 months is September 2014, where about 8.2 percent, uh, 8.2 hours delivered on average cumulatively to Nigerian households. Well, Ihua, thank you so much for speaking to us. Of course, he is the CEO at NOI Polls, giving us the outcome of a recent survey on power supply in Nigeria.